Hey guys, it's Brawl of 2095, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Nyko PTS MOE Polymer Trigger Guard for the M4. Alright, then this, this, the first thing you want to do is clear your rifle. Take out the mag, make sure everything is out. You, number one priority is your safety, guys. Alright, you're going to need two tools. Some type of punch, I'm using a very small nail, and a hammer. Alright, you're going to put the punch inside this little hole right there. Okay, let me zoom in. Right in that hole. Right there. And and punch that out. Just like that. It should it should be coming out of your M4. Now well, I gotta punch it out just a little bit more. Uh where did my nail go? You know what? I don't think I need my nail. I'll just use my hammer. So I'm just gonna clip it out. Yep. And it's out. Alright. And once that's out, you're gonna flip your M4 rifle to the other side. And it's gonna have this small button right there. You can push that out. And your trigger guard should slide right out, just like that. Okay. Put your parts to the side. Open up the Magpul trigger guard. And inside, you have the punch, like I just took out. The little thing. The thing I punched out. And the screw. Okay, guys, watch this. I'm gonna take the trigger guard, make sure it's the right position. The Magpul logo more to the front of the rifle. Okay, just like that. So it's just like that, okay? Now you can get your punch and um, hammer it back in into your new trigger guard. Okay, once that's in, you're going to take this little Allen screw. Um, this, this is an Allen uh, screw. Well, pretty much what I had to do was um, hammer it, hammer the Allen, the Allen wrench into an Allen screw to uh, get it to turn. But it's nice. Um, way better at handling than the stock G and G armament piece of crap. Lightweight, everything is just a pro about it. I don't find a con yet. Um, it's really nice. Doesn't give you that that stress on your hand after for a while. It's really nice. It also covers that gap. I know you guys hate that gap. Sorry about that, my light just fell. Um, hold on. Okay, yeah, you see the gap is filled. So yeah, it takes care of all the problems that a regular trigger guard has. And, and plus you have the Magpul name on it, so you're pretty much set.